We've got a star to show you today, someone that starts off in your games without being very expensive, but having tons of ability straight away. He's got a few certain attributes that make him just deadly in the in-game engine. Make sure, by the way, you stick with us in this one, because we're not just showing you one position that this guy can play, but later in the video, I'll show you what he looks like in a completely different position and how well he can do there. Hello everyone, Jake here for FM Scout. Welcome to another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar where we take a Wonder Kid that you might not have heard of in Football Manager and check out how good they can be on the highest end of their potential. As mentioned today, we've got a player who is unbelievable in game straight away with plenty of potential to get better and I mean big room for improvement whilst being super cheap and affordable for most teams. He's one that a lot of you are going to love, I'm sure. Before we get into it though, if you do enjoy the video, smash that like button for us, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and comment down below who you'd like to see next. And without further ado, let's go over to the Belgian divisions. And we're going over to one of the biggest sides in Belgium, Genk. Now, I don't have the Belgian divisions loaded in this database or anything like that, but this player is still in this save, which shows you that he should be in the majority of your saves if we go to players and then sort by age. There's actually many a good youngster in this Genk team. Bilal Alkanous is one of them, but the guy we're looking at today is 19-year-old Belgian player, Luca Oyen. Now don't forward ahead because there's a few things I need to point out about him straight away. Firstly, when you start your save, he will have an injury for quite a while. I think the first six months or so of your save, he will be injured. So scout him and wait for him to recover from that injury. See how he develops from there and then approach to sign him. In this video, for the sake of it though, we'll be removing that injury so we can test him out straight away. And that way we can find out just how good he can be with full development. But the 19 year old Belgian born in Nottingham is a star who we've spoke about in a few videos before when looking at hidden gems, but we've never focused on him on an individual basis. And when I look at his attributes, I wonder how we haven't done him already because he is so, so good. For about £2 million, the 19-year-old Belgian has great pace and acceleration already. Bear in mind, he's just came off a really, really horrible injury. So once that's sorted and he gets back to training again, we should see those physical attributes increase even further. And you're going to see that in this simulation. There are some areas of his game that he is awful at when it comes to his physicals but that extreme pace is going to make up for it. Mentally, fairly balanced, nothing really to shout home about. Everything looks okay. Some you'd want to work on, some attributes that are good. However, it's his technicals where this man really shines. As an inside forward, as a shadow striker, as a striker, wherever you want to play him, he has some great ability already. With 14 technique, 15 passing, 14 first touch, 15 finishing, and 14 dribbling, there's an argument to say, even if he never improved from this point, he would still be very good in the in-game end Gym, but he is going to get so much better than what we're seeing here. You could really mold him into whatever of these roles you'd want to. And just so you know, his potential is 130 to 160. So compared to some players that we normally look at, he does actually have lower potential, but he starts off with such great attributes that it means that even if you don't get the best version of Luca Royan, he is still going to be a very deadly player in the in-game engine. If you don't know already this year, physical attributes kind of trump anything. And the fact that he is so quick is really going to benefit him in the match end. Engine. But now I'll bring him over to our Real Madrid side and show you what we're going to do to make him an unbelievable player. Now, Luca Oyen will be an inside forward in this 4 3 3 Gagan Press preset tactic that the game provides. I've changed a few roles, but Luca Oyen is playing a very simple job of cutting inside here and taking some shots at goal. That's the hope, at least. Obviously, like I say, you can play him as a striker or as a number 10, maybe as a shadow striker. However, in this video, we'll be using him as an inside forward, and in his later years, I will convert him to a striker so you can see how well he might do there but straight away he is in our team we've got him developing don't worry about the potential in terms of the star ratings because that's going to change a lot throughout the course of this simulation he'll go way ahead of this three star predicted mark never trust these stars in football manager he's also being mentored by Modric and Benzema and when it comes to his training we're focusing him purely on the role as we do in every video however for you guys if you were doing an additional focus I'd argue his technicals maybe don't need any more work so maybe focusing in on that composure and that decision making could be really good for him particularly if you're playing him in this inside forward slot or as a number 10 so that he makes the right decisions on the ball when to pass when to shoot that would add some additional training for composure and decision making to try and get that up but of course it's completely up to you maybe you want to work on some player traits I just think Luca Oyen looks like a phenomenal player already capped for the under 
2021 international team. Now let's see how good he can be after a few years on the lowest end of that potential range. And after three years, Luca Oyen is now at the point where he's on that lower side of that potential range, currently sitting at about 135 current ability. So worst case scenario, you will get a Luca Oyen for a couple of million that looks something like this. 22 years of age now, capped for the Belgian national team and valued at around 50 million goes to show you he is definitely worth that initial investment at most of about four mil. He's got the acceleration, he's got the pace, and he has got some great attributes alongside that with 16 finishing, 16 first touch, 15 dribbling, technique and passing. His mental attributes have gone up a lot since coming into the first team and playing a lot of games. Still got that balanced personality. The mentoring didn't really work too well on him, but so far he is developing really nicely and has great attributes in so many areas. But how good is he in game? Well, the answer is very, very good. I told you that pace is going to make him strong in the in-game engine. Bear in mind, some of these goals are going to be slightly elevated because he is on penalties here. So do bear that in mind. But even without those penalties, he still scored a fair few and got 14 assists in that inside forward position. The next season, he scores 18 goals with 16 assists. And then the season after his best season, the current season, he hit 26 goals, 19 assists in 37 games. And only six of those goals were from the penalty spot. And that's only in the league. That's not considering what he did in other competitions. He's became a mainstay in this team now for Real Madrid. If he had a bit more strength and dribbling, he'd definitely be giving me Eden Hazard vibes here. Maybe just because he's Belgium and he's playing, coming in off the left and can also play as a number 10. But either way, Luka Oyen is a phenomenal talent, even on the worst case scenario. So now let's see him in the prime of his career. And we've had to go about seven years into the future to get to that point. It's 2030. Luka Oyen is in his late 20s now, heading into the prime of his career at the age of 27. And look how good this man looks. Remember, he only cost a couple of million. Don't go anywhere yet, though, because there's still plenty to show you. If you are enjoying to this point, smash the like button for us. And whilst you're down there in the description is also my own channel. If you'd like to check that out, we have some rebuilds as well as some YouTube shorts on Wonder Kids you might not have heard of. So come on over and check that out. But Luca Royan here, 27 years of age, a phenomenal talent with 17 acceleration and 17 pace. He's as quick as anyone, 14 agility as well, passing technique and vision on an unbelievable level with 16s and 17s in those areas. His off the ball work is insane. His decision making is great. He's got some player traits, maybe some that we might not exactly want. Maybe if we had him looking to beat the offside trap, he'd score even more goals. But he does have 17 finishing. He does have 17 first touch, 16 dribbling as well. Can cross, can take a set piece, is even a decent header of the football. He's played 50 times for the Belgian national team and scored 11 goals. And when it comes to his performances on the pitch, he's been an unbelievable talent for this Real Madrid side, getting 20 assists in some seasons whilst also hitting 15 plus goals most years, being a deadly threat. But this is him as an inside forward. I'll now switch to him as a striker and show you how good he did in that position. And he is now 30 years of age, Luca Royan, so some of his attributes have started to deteriorate a little bit. He's still worth 60 odd million pounds though, but we moved into a striker for his last three seasons and you can see he took to it like a duck to water. 29 goals and 12 assists in one season, 35 goals and 15 assists in the next with his best average match rating up to this point and at the age of 30 he really is a phenomenal talent and one that I suggest you all try and pick up as soon as possible because he's got that extreme pace and already has that great technical ability he can play at a high level very early on even if his star ratings that the game gives you doesn't necessarily reflect that. Just to highlight the attributes that he does have as a striker he's got so many that are going to benefit his game. His stamina is weak but that's maybe one of the only things that he is lacking but I think he is a great talent talent. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Let's call him the next Eden Hazard. Why not? I think he looks like a great player that you should all sign in your saves if you can. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.